Okay, so this question is different from the ones that we've been dealing with previously because it doesn't state that the internal resistance is negligible. So we're going to have to consider what's going on inside the cell. So this lowercase r here represents the internal resistance. Now that's the resistance due to the power supply itself, in this case the cell. The dotted line represents the cell or the power supply and this epsilon here represents the EMF or energy supplied per unit charge by the power source. Okay, so this is important to distinguish the EMF from what the voltmeter here is going to read. It's not going to be the same. It's because some of the energy that's being supplied by the cell is going to get lost inside the cell itself. Okay, so due to the internal resistance here. And that's what we call the lost PD. Okay, so the lost PD is the work done per unit charge across the internal resistance. Okay, the remainder of the energy is going to get used by the rest of the circuit. Then the re remainder of energy is what we call the terminal voltage. Okay, that's the work done per unit charge across the load. Now, what do we mean by load? So load is anything that's connected to the power supply. So it doesn't have to be just one resistor. In this case, it is, but it could be many things. Okay, it could be a, um, a whole bunch of resistors, and that's get represented using capital R. Okay. So the, why is it called terminal voltage? Okay. Now the word terminal just means the ends. For example, the terminals of an airport, the ends of an airport, or the terminals of a train station, meaning the ends of a train station. So I've measured the terminal voltage by connecting across the load, but it doesn't matter. I could have connected it here if I wanted, or I could even connect it this way. It doesn't matter. It's going to read the same thing. Okay, as long as it's anything that's connected to the circuit and measuring across that or measuring directly across the power supply itself that will give terminal voltage represented by the capital V here. Because the truth is uh, dealing with internal resistance is no different from dealing with a series circuit. It's just we've got the load resistance here represented by capital R and we've got the internal resistance by rep represented by lowercase r and the EMF is the energy that's being supplied by the power uh, by the power supply here. Okay, so the next thing is you applying ohms law. I mean, we know the current through everything is going to be the same um, because it's a series circuit. So we can come up with an expression for the loss potential difference by using ohms law. So I've just done the current, which is I times the resistance to give me the loss PD. And if I want to figure out how much is lost across the load, I can just do the same thing: current times resistance. That is the term of voltage at V. Okay. Right, and, and of course that can be measured using a voltmeter like this. Now I can't measure the loss PD by connecting a voltmeter like this. That's because this, if you remember, is inside the cell. So I can only ever measure the terminal voltage uh, across the circuit. Okay, so we can think of EMF as the energy that's being supplied by the cell. And that's going to get used up in two ways. One, inside the cell itself, which is what we call the loss PD. And the rest of it across whatever is connected to the circuit which is going to be terminal voltage. Um, and this can be re represented using many equations. For example, this, we've got EMF, loss PD, and terminal voltage. Or I can represent it like this, where I've just used IR uh, for um, the, the terminal voltage. Or if you notice, if they both have I in them, I can take that I out and have it written like this, where this here is basically just total resistance. Total resistance times the current gives me the total potential difference, which is the EMF. Another way you can see these equations represented with terminal voltage as subject, like so. Um, in this case, EMF minus PD, so we can write that like this. Okay, the diagram shows a single resistor connected directly across the cell. Explain why the potential difference measured across the resistor is not equal to the EMF. Okay, firstly, what is EMF? EMF is the energy supplied per unit charge by the cell. So why is that not equal to the voltmeter reading here? And that's because there is some internal resistance over here. And of course, the internal resistance is going to use up some of the energy when there's a current flowing through it. Okay, so whenever there's a current flowing through the circuit, the, there's going to be some energy loss inside the cell due to the internal resistance. And this is what we call the lost PD. So what does a voltmeter measure? It's going to measure the EMF minus the loss PD, which is the terminal voltage.